around the uh, Extreme Speed Motorsports timing stand that we use on pit road during the race. Uh, we pretty much run our races from here. The engineers sit up here, crew chief comes up here, talks to the engineers. This is where all the uh, planning happens. So we'll just uh, have a look at some of the uh, screens we look at. You can see on the very left, we can see all the different corners of the track on TV. IMSA provides us through a speed channel with a camera from every corner. We can tap into it. So if we see an incident, we can say, hey driver, there's, a, there's an accident in corner six. And uh, it's really good information. It really uh, informs us of what's going on. That is our in-car camera. It's on the roof of our car. We get that for the whole race. That's hugely important because we always know what's going on with our car real time, visually. Then we go down to the computer monitors here. First computer is timing and scoring. This lets us see what position we're in, what kind of lap times we're running. Let's us see what the other teams are doing, when they've pitted. Uh, and this is a new feature. We can see where all the cars are on track, which is really cool. It really helps us knowing who's behind you, who's in front of you, what kind of gaps you have. So all that information is provided to us from uh, ALMS. This screen is information that we get from our car. This is our information. No one else gets it. We get a, a lot of info here. We probably broadcast around 200 channels. The main thing we look at is the engine. We want to make sure our engine's healthy. We got water temperature, we got oil temperature, oil pressure, RPM. We know when the guys over rev the motor, so we can say, hey, you've, you're over revving the motor, it's not going to last all race, you better not do that. We've got strip charts of speed, so we can see all four wheels. So if we see if the guy locks the brake, we can make adjustments. We have a knob in the car to change brake bias. Really important during a race, because those conditions can change. Another important feature is fuel remaining. We know how much fuel is left in the car. We can see that, that's really important for running an endurance race. This, this racing is all about when you're gonna stop, when you're gonna get tires, and how much fuel you got on board, and when you're gonna run out of fuel. And the whole game is running as long as fuel on possible and coming in with the least amount in the tank. We've come in with you know, a quarter gallon left in the tank, which isn't very much, but that's, that's what you gotta do. We see tire pressures real time from the car. A lot, every street car sold now has tire pressure sensors, and you can see it on the dash. Basically the same system, but we're transmitting it back to here on the timing stand and we can see it so it lets us it helps us set the car up it's also a safety issue we know if we're getting a flat tire we can see it and actually we've caught one this year we had a we had a pretty good leak in a tire and we caught it before that it turned into something bad it's very powerful it keeps us informed it lets us make decisions to make the car go faster it lets us make decisions on the fly if we didn't have telemetry we have to wait till the car comes in so with telemetry, we can just do everything a lot quicker. If another team doesn't have it or they don't have a system that's as good, we're that much further ahead of them. So it's really powerful that way and it really helps us run a good race, keeps us organized. Okay, so in the cockpit of the ESM Ferrari, we see the uh, MoTeC dash. This is really the brains behind the data and telemetry systems. It looks at all the sensors, brings in all the information, processes it, processes it. We can control how it processes the information. We can control the map channels, how it logs, how it sends telemetry. And it's also a display for the drivers. It's a, it's a two-purpose unit. They can see all the information that, needs, that they need to know, their RPM, their gear, their water temperature. They have shift lights right here. It tells them when to shift, it tells them what information, alarms. And this unit is really the, the brains in the cockpit electronically for the ESM Ferrari.